Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this channel, I'm covering communication skills for you to level up your way with words and become much more articulate. In today's episode, we are entering the world of public speaking and social skills, and we're going to be talking about whether or not fake laughing in an interaction is fine. One of the most popular videos on the Armani Talks YouTube channel is how to stop nervous laughing. One of the reasons that we uh, laugh nervously in an interaction is we want to impress the other person. And whenever we want to impress the other person, we're nervous. And whenever we're nervous, we put more weight on audio versus content. We feel as though if there's any awkward silences within this interaction, that means we're failing. So to fill up the dead noise, we just are like, <laughs> right? <laughs> we do the fake laughter. And the fix for the fake laughter, at least the nervous laughter, was to flip it, focus more on the content rather than the audio. Because the audio doesn't mean that much. A lot of the times, you will realize that some of the most powerful communicators out there, they know how to be silent. And when you know how to be silent, people appreciate your audio much more. Now, with that being said, let's say you're not nervous. And let's say someone is telling you a joke in an interaction. Is it smart to do a fake laugh like, <laughs> right, right, I see what you're saying. Even if it wasn't funny. See, this is something that my opinion has shifted on uh, throughout the years. Where before, I used to say, only laugh if it was funny. Otherwise, don't laugh. And I had this philosophy for a while until I realized that that's not always smart. Because a lot of the times in an interaction, one person is trying to make things chill. They want to turn a, um, an overly formal atmosphere into a more informal atmosphere. And the way that they're going to do something like that is to crack some jokes. Now, they're putting in the intent of cracking the jokes, but unfortunately, let's say the joke isn't that funny. And let's say we don't laugh. We're like, well, go ahead, try again. How do you think this person is going to feel? Do you think they're going to still try to take a um, formal atmosphere into an informal atmosphere? I don't think so. Instead, I think this person is going to shrivel up and they're going to be like, all right, uh, how are you doing? They're going to be overly formal. So every now and then I'll give them one of those uh, fake laughs, like, <laughs> I see what you're doing. Or if it's like just straight up corny of a joke that they said, I'll at least smile. And I noticed that when I smile, like, at least I acknowledge that they're trying to tell a joke. I was aware that they're trying to tell a joke versus just being like, because then it ruins the vibe. And this idea really hammered home where fake laughing is fine every now and then. That idea really came when I was doing public speaking, where a lot of the times there's that one sweet person from the audience that is so easy to please. And if you are terrified as a speaker and you have that one sweet person in the audience that you're the ultimate comedian too, they know when you're telling a joke, they're very liberal in uh, laughing. You, the speaker, you feel so good. You're like, oh, thank God. At least I ha have won someone over. And then subconsciously at a very rapid rate, you think, well, if I win one person over, there's no reason I can't win the whole entire audience over. That one person giving you that laugh, I mean, let's be real, it's a fake laugh. You're not that funny. But that person that's giving you that laugh gave you that encouragement that allowed you to continue on. So I believe laughing in a fake way, even like, especially when you're not nervous, is completely fine in a social interaction. But there's a caveat. If this person is just giving you a string of corny jokes, then eventually I'll draw the line. I'm like, all right, buddy, now you gotta actually earn my laughter. But if it's one of those situations where every now and then 
that telling a joke, I'll give the fake laugh. It's a sacrifice I believe you need to make for the entire interaction to thrive. So the fake laugh, it is not a problem from my opinion if you're not nervous and every now and then it's smart to deliver one. And if you can't even do that, at least acknowledge their joke through a simple smile. If you enjoyed today's talk, go on and drop that like for me right on below. And thank you very much for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel.